the moment inside the Bataclan theater when terrorists unleashed their Kalashnikovs. Coordinated suicide bombers detonate outside the Pact's Stade de France. The carnage in Paris, leading U.S. and European officials to warn tonight that ISIS is turning a page in its strategy. ISIL has developed an external operations agenda that is now implementing, it is implementing with lethal effect. Their agenda is to kill, pure and simple, and it's referred to them as murderous sociopaths. Paris was hit the day after ISIS claimed responsibility for twin suicide bombings in Beirut. An ISIS affiliate is believed to have brought down a Russian passenger plane with 224 people on board. Three devastating terror hits in less than two weeks. ISIS is clearly emboldened by these attacks. I've seen the sort of damage and disruption that has created. But why now, when a principal goal of ISIS to this point has been to capture and hold territory in Iraq and Syria? As ISIS loses terrain, particularly in northern Syria, they want to increase, escalate the number of attacks that they, they, they wage abroad because, again, this is the way that they sell themselves. The Paris attacks bore the hallmarks of al-Qaeda, coordinated cells, well-planned, high-profile, designed to inflict mass casualties. And there's growing evidence tonight that ISIS's central leadership in Iraq and Syria is calling the shots in these asymmetric attacks. Sources in France tell CNN two prominent ISIS members thought to be in Iraq or Syria may have masterminded the Paris onslaught. One of them, Abdelhamid Abaoud, is, according to a source, very close to ISIS leader Abu Bakr al-Baghdadi. The source says Abaoud would certainly be in contact with Baghdadi in planning an attack like this. What's ISIS's goal in launching mass casualty attacks on soft targets? I think their goal in conducting these attacks is to push back those who are pushing against them and to make sure that people feel vulnerable at home such that they will maybe not engage in the kind of counter-ISIS activities that we've seen of late.